Hi friends, welcome to our today's session, which is part six on Raml module in Mule four. So guys, in this session, what we are going to do, we are going to import assets from AnyPoint Exchange in AnyPoint Studio, and and also we will see how you can update the newly published version of that asset in the AnyPoint Studio. If any new version of that asset is published, okay, let's say a new version is one point two. And the previous version was 1.1. So how you can update that 1.2 version in your AnyPoint Studio so that your asset is in sync with the code which you are developing in the AnyPoint Studio. So guys, these two things we are going to cover in today's session. Okay, and we will also see how you can import asset from AnyPoint Exchange in different ways. Okay, so guys, without wasting time, okay, let's go to the AnyPoint Studio and see how you can import that asset. And update the published version. Okay, so we are in AnyPoint Studio, guys. So I will create one separate project for that. So I will click on New. Click on Mule project. I will give it a name. Mule Raml Model POC. So guys, there are multiple ways you can import that published asset. So the asset which I published in the previous video, part five. So that same asset I'm going to import now, the user system API. So guys, how you can do that? You have to click on this plus button, import a published API. You have to click on this from Exchange. Okay. So you have to log in first with your with your AnyPoint platform account. So I'm already logged in. So I will I will just search that API. Asset which I have published. Okay. So it's searching. Let's wait. Let's search it in a different way. User says like that so guys you can see ms user system api and the latest version is 1.0.0 and the publisher is the organization name under which i have created my any platform account so i will click on this click on add okay it will add that uh, selected module okay on the right hand side i will click on finish so you can see it has been uh, imported and now I will click on finish. Okay. So let's wait. Okay, it is parsing API specification scaffolding all those APIs so guys you can see all the APIs endpoints which we have created which we have designed in the RAML all are scaffolded here okay you can see users user ID put delete get health post users so all are all flows are created from that RAML design okay so guys that's how we import asset from the AnyPoint exchange okay you can import while creating an object and now I'm going to show you one another way so let's say you have created the object but you didn't import it at the time of creating the project okay so how you can import it so I will delete this project now and show you the different way delete project from the disk okay I will create create one new project here give it a name mule raml poc okay this time I, I i will i'm not importing it from here okay i'm going to show you the different way how you can import it differently i will click on, click on finish so guys how you can import it now you just have to right click click on go to the manage dependencies manage apis click on plus from exchange okay similarly you need to search your api which you have published okay you can see here user system api 
and the publisher and version click on add click on finish okay now you have to apply you want to scaffold so if you want to scaffold it will create flows based on the corresponding endpoints which you have created in the raml okay i will click on yes so as it has successfully created the flows from those endpoints and scaffold execution succeeded no errors found i will click on apply and close so as you can see all the same endpoints which i showed you previously are created again from that raml and where is that raml you can see here okay raml zip okay this is the raml root file which we have created there in previous parts okay these are all the examples error examples okay resource types libraries okay so guys i showed you the two different ways how you can import published asset from the any point exchange now what i am going to do i am going to update this version so presently this uh, raml version is 1.0.0 so i am going to uh, uh, publish one new version okay and we will see how you can import a newly updated version from any point exchange in any point studio under this project okay so presently it's 1.0.0 so next time when a new version will be published i will import that newly version in the any point studio and show you that how it the version is updating okay and in pom also you can see that raml version okay so presently it's 1.0.0 okay it will be updated after importing a newly created version so let me show you how you can update uh, you can publish a new uh, other version other new version okay and how you can import it in the anypoint studio okay let's go to the anypoint uh, platform first okay i will click on sign in go to the design center so guys you can see our api specification i will click on this okay and i will up uh, publish one new version of this api spec i will click on publish okay this time the version will be 1.0.1 .1. okay api version v1 and i will click on publish to exchange okay so the version the latest version now is 1.0.1 .1. Okay, so it has successfully published to exchange so let's go to the exchange and see so guys you can see the latest version now is 1.0.1 .1. okay so if you click on this manage version you will get the entire history of the versions okay what is the latest version presently okay So guys, now I'm going to import this same version, this latest version in the Anypoint Studio. Okay, so let's go to the Anypoint Studio and see how you can import it, how you can update the it with the latest version. So guys, you just have to right click here on the project, click on API specification. Okay, under user system API, go to update version. Click on this, refresh it click on this update version okay you can see one new our latest version now click on apply so guys if you uh, uh, want to scaffold you you want you can scaffold so if you want to ignore this scaffolding that also you can do so in that case it will just update the version in the palm okay and the end in the api router config so i will click on yes okay apply and close so guys same endpoints i got this time but the only thing is we have got the latest version of that published asset now 
okay and similarly you can check the palm file that version has been updated or not so you guys you can see it has been updated and one more place you can check okay you have to check this api router configs go to the configuration xml okay this is the api get router config and guys this is the resource which it, it is pointing to so it is same as that of the raml okay 1.0.1 .1 raml zip which is this one okay this one so it is pointing to this resource it means it's correct okay and one more place you can check so if you click on message flow click on the api kit router click on this edit okay so here it there should be only one api definition not more than one okay so because, because sometimes it gives error because of that reason okay so it should be only one api definition here So guys, that was all about this uh, uh, part 6 on importing assets from the Anypoint exchange and how to update it in the Anypoint studio. So guys, in the next uh, part, we will co cover the implementation part. We will implement some different endpoints, how you can implement, what are the best practices. We will create one global file where we will specify these properties uh, in a common way okay and we will also see like how you can reduce the number of flows while scaffolding so you you can see here a uh, number of flows are created okay number of flows are created here for different endpoints so if you want to ignore creating flows okay without impacting any functionality so guys that also we can do okay so that i will show you in the upcoming parts Okay, so I hope you understood everything we saw in this session guys. Thanks for watching this session. See you soon. Bye.